This is Die Sporting Network. What work? Ten. We're going to head to the DMV. High school football game of the week. Back. Still St. Clair Lane. Homecoming today for Archbishop Curley to match up for the B Conference League. Between St. Murray's undefeated. 7 0 here on the season. They get the ball first. Had a nice kickoff return. Fake six. And a long third down to come. Yeah. Lesniak on the stop. Third and 12. Carson Pettibon has done well. Transferring from Gonzaga. All right, Flyers fans. It's good. It's third and 12. Must be a long kicker turn, huh? <laughs> the kicker made the stop? Yeah. Barely. 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 Babylon escapes. Yeah. They got him down again. He's set. And off is the Curly defense. But a nice stop to the TV. Curly. It's fourth down. Fourth down. Front unit will come out. Beautiful afternoon. It's been a Aaron Bruce, back to the over the last couple of weeks. I mean, couple of days. The weather has flown nicely here. And this big beat conference matchup. The St. Mary's wins. They only have St. Paul's left to get in the way of having the top spot in the MIAB conference playoffs. Short kick. It's going to take a roll to the 20. One tackle broken. Broke another one. And they got him down. Low light at the 31. Aaron Rose on the short return. First and 10 Friars. First time we see the Friars. We got to do them last week against Mount Carmel down in CCBC Dundon. And the key they did early on offense, they jumped on Mount Carmel early and offense. And the defense so far with the stop there. Well, in the black uniforms is Archbishop Curley. First and 10 at the 31. Bonnie to get to the 41 for a first down. Run up the middle. Pounds his way. And again, the race. Madison ran well last week as well. Karam Madison barrels up the middle for 10. First and 10 Friars. And for the prize, that's the key for them today. Nine twenty remaining here in the first quarter. Run to the outside. The defensive line that time of St. Mary's caught him in the backfield. And it's going to be second down. He actually got the first down on the run. It's going to be second and 12. Madison, loss of two, second and 12. Look like John Kell and Mount Kell will match up. We'll come down to the fourth spot. And the MIA beat conference postseason. Concordia Prep. And also, it's a curling law like the hood will be in. Curly has one more conference game left himself. Madison up the middle. He breaks through. That's fine. A big tag for an air 40. What a run by Madison. Curl Madison. Madison with a nice run. 832 in the first half of 40 of St. Mary. Another run up 
the middle, another first down. Ron Madison, pick up a 12. First and 10 for like a juggernaut right now downfield. St. Mary's. Well, they had a tight matchup last week at St. Mary's since Concordia Prop. That was St. Mary's last home game of the year. They're on the road. I'm excited. For the rest of the uh, season. At St. Paul's and Severn, respectfully. See you later, babe. Eight minutes left here in the first. And the ball at the 28 yard line. St. Mary's here. Might as well give it to Madison again. He's been rolling. Hey! He gets another nice gain, a gain of eight that time. So no flags yet. Madison for six. Second, and four. second down and four. Madison's been, Madison's been running well. Second and four. No passes yet. By all spits of curling. You can't blame him. The run game's been working magnificent for him. No, oh, the set was low and had to fall on it. He's going to lose about two yards. Well, it's going to lose more than two yards. It's going to lose a lot of yards behind the original first down marker. So it's going to be third and 12 now. So he went from third and 12 second players. and four to third and 12. And is that the 30 now it makes Curly have to pass the ball here, probably for the first time on the offensive drive today. Rolls out, going to run for it, and not going to get it. Good drink. It's going to be fourth. Makes the fourth down a little bit more manageable. It's going to be about fourth and eight. Nordic picks up four on the keep. It's fourth down. Curly's going for it. They got a kid that can kick it from 50. And we did see the field goal kicker last week in practice. Are they trying to just get St. Mary's to get off sides? It still will not be enough for a first down. It's a timeout. That's what it was. Get three here. 547 left. Curly takes their first timeout of the half. Right back now. All right, folks, field goal unit on here for Archbishop Curley, Chris Pond. Up. Kick is up. It's got no good. No man! It made it in! It that was a 42 yard kick. 42. Not bad at all. 3 nothing lane here for all Bishop Curley. It's like you take too much of the turf and go. You have a golf swing that is just a little south. We'll be right back in our case. All right, folks, we're back to game action now. 3 nothing lead here for the Friars off of the field goal kick. Nice kickoff. Oh, illegal procedure went out of bounds, and it's going to give the Saints good field position. Flag on the play. So let's see where the ball will be placed. Should be placed near the 40 yard line. We'll get St. Mary's good field position. Is it really the 35? Is that the penalty? I think it is. And actually, yeah. First and 10 St. Mary's from their own 35. Well, the Saints with that second opportunity here. They was uh, three and out. Black, let's go! As the Curly defense did a good job of really pressuring. St. Mary's throws it up! A lot of pushing! Complete. 
Broken up by Malachi Nichols. Nichols breaks it up. Second and ten for the Saints. Homecoming here at Austin of Carolina. Second and ten. Second down on the ground. Run up the middle. Curry not getting much there. They stopped him. Isaiah Yates on the stop. It's going to be third and about 37. Seven. It's third down. Third and seven here. Flag on the play. First, oh, second flag of the game. At first, he, he motioned the offense. Uh, that's a bang bang call. There. It's a shame. At least in high school, it's not the spot of the foul, like, but it's yeah, 15 yards. Yeah, it's 15. Yards. That's good. You're right. It should be that way across the board. I wish it was that way in the pros. Yeah. I mean, that's a game changer. Pass interference, Friars. First and ten, St. Mary's. 4.44 left that's in the first half. That is terrible! I get St. Murray's first down for the first time. Curry yeah. got stopped right in the middle. He had some bursts. He might have gained about maybe four. Aaron Rose with the tackle. <laughs> Second and seven. Second and seven, they gained three. And it throws on second down. St. Mary's down three. They've beaten all the other top teams in the, in the B conference. They're trying to, in all likelihood, clinch the B conference. Top seed! Flags are down. That will actually help, really. St. Mary's, a rare penalty that will help you, even though you got it because of the. Low snap and a fumble. And they said it was before. Flag the on the play. Second down and 12. Right there, Mitchell. Second and 12. 405 remaining here in the first. Low snap. Curry. Kind of got it close to the original line of scrimmage. For the first down there. Let's see where they mark it. It's going to be third and ten, looks like. Multiple Friars on the stop. It's third and ten. Big, big play here huh? for Curly's defense. And get off the field. All right, folks, here we go. It's the Motion. Come with the noise. Yeah. And complete. We'll see if I'm down before I can catch the ball. St. Mary's first couple offensive possessions so far, a little erratic. As they'll be putting for the second time. Talk to 
coach, head coach Jake Brahoni. He said it wasn't going to be an easy one. Snap, kick. It's going to take a nice bounce there for St. Mary's inside the 10. 2.53 remaining here in the first quarter. It's a nice, nice punt. Second series for Archbishop Curley coming up here. And thank you so much for checking us out here on the Dinosaur Network. You can always check us out. St. Mary's with a 42 yard punt. Don Stevie. First and 10 Friars. Tom Cash Set the Money Sign, Dinosaur Network. On the Twitter at Dinosaur Network, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. As again, you're getting us now to 2,100 plus subscribers strong. Getting us close to that mark now. We appreciate you out there. We've got more action to come with. Lay law down team a little bit, where we'll be at next. And there's a big one coming up. Fake sitting to run up the middle. All right. Maybe a yard. Maybe three. Yep. Yeah. A little more than that. Five three yard gain. Nice quick snap. Like I said, you're in the back end zone, so you gotta play smart. Three yard pickup for the Friars. Second and seven. Right now the coaching staff are both Bishop Curley, Coach Ireton and company. They're playing a very Smart game at the moment here with St. Mary's. Ball control. The defense have done the job as well. Roll out to the outside. Room for Adam. Out of bounds. Nice run there by Colin Batchel. And the it's going to be third. Let's see where they're going to mark this at. He might have got the first down. He did. He got it. Yeah. Colin Bichu picks up eight on the sweep. First down, Friars. First and ten. Great. Breaks it again. I think St. Mary's is ready that time and not much of one. Four you know. Ford Parker's gain looked like about maybe three. Cole Boyd picks up three. Second and seven. Quick move in first quarter. Almost to a close. And this big beat conference action here in the game of the week. Here on DSN this week. Roll out. Yeah! Mm. Nice movement up front. That gains about maybe three more. It's going to be third and about two. And a little bit more than three, and about five. Around Madison for five. Madison's been running tremendously it's well. Third two. Same thing. So far. Stay on schedule. That's the Same key. thing. 106 left here in the first. Uh, he got, yep. He forced his way for it. Ford Parker might have gave him the first down. That's right, Logan. Okay. Logan Moore to call the keeper. Right. First down, Friars. Oh, nice run! Yeah. 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 Was Madison, and if he wasn't tripped up, he would have had daylight. First down again for Curly. Around Madison for 12. First down, Friars. I know, right? <laughs> he really is. There's a lot of fans indeed. That's... Yep. Quarterback in your lead blocker more. and another Ford Parker is there for All right. North Trick. Turn the field around. Is that might be the last play of the quarter. Let's see if it is. Nordic for three. Second and seven. 
come on the other side of the pitch. I think that will be the last play of the corner. So after one here in East Baltimore. And Archbishop Curley up three. And folks, here at the end of the, the first leading. quarter, it's your Conference. Archbishop Curley for Irish three. The visiting St. Mary's Saints zero. That's the corner coming up here. Go St. Clair Lake. Start of the second quarter here in St. Clair Lane and Office of Curley up three and have controlled the pace of the game so far on the ground. And they have really done a good job of keeping St. Mary's defensively on the field. What a pitch run there. Third and about maybe three coming up. Cole Floyd on the carry. Pick up a three. It's third and three. Third and three now, huge for the St. Barry's defense here. They need to get off the football field. Again, the winner of this matchup will have the inside track to the top record. Conference rise here in the MIAB Conference. St. Mary's the only team in the MIA undefeated record-wise overall. First down for Madison. And the ball came out late. And St. Mary gets the turnover. It was a snatch and scoop. Madison's knee went all the way down. By the time he looked up, he didn't have years. possession anymore. Here's for St. Mary's defense. They got the ball back near Memphis. Oh, they got him. That's how they're going to lose it if they do. Ah, right. Still the right game plan, though. Fat Bond out of the pistol. Runs it with Curry. Right, Curry had a little running room. He gained about four. Blue travels on the stop. Second and five. Second. And five. Run. And again, a short game. <laughs> Travis on the stop. It's third and two. All right, folks, let's hit it. It's third. Offense have really not been able to get much clicking as the 50. Short pass. Stick. Caught. Broke the tackle. Got the first down inside of Curry territory. And 05 remaining. Yeah, in the first Aaron Rose on the tackle. First and 10 St. Mary's. Ten minutes left in the first half. Pistol again. For Pet Bond. Bounce back. The run will maybe gain about three. Jamon Brown on the stop. Second and seven. Second and seven coming out. Open room, first down and more. Oh, 
saw. One of the eight backs able to get it and move the chain. Amelia Gardner on the tackle. First and ten, St. Mary's. Nine minutes left in a half. Oh! Pat Bond ran in himself. This change between him and Curry was a little tight. And I think Pat Bond he got a yard because of that. Maybe two. Second and nine. Yep, yard gain, second and nine. Close it! Too far, incomplete. Third and nine. Pass incomplete. Third and nine. Flyer Fanatics, let's hear it third down. Third nine. Curry splits, spins out of it, and gains about eight. It's going to be fourth and short. Interesting call. All right. Travers and Gardner on the stop. Almost it's fourth down. Them. It's going to be fourth and look like three. St. Mary's going for it, deepest they've been so far in the game in Curly territory. Come on, Big Steve, you show up. All right, let's hear it, folks. It's fourth down. Come on, Big Steve, you show up. Out of the pistol. Fakes it. Perfect. Throws it. Open. First down and more. One cotton. The save of it. Elijah Anderson on the tackle. First and goal, St. Mary's. I want to Gonzaga made the big play there with his arm. Cotton able to make straight up run here. Push the power forward. It's going to be second and goal like that. Two. Again, a beautiful afternoon here in East Baltimore. Second run, pushing the power. I think he might have got in this time. Nope, they say short. Third and goal at the goal line. St. Mary's trying to get a touchdown here to take the lead. It's third and goal. All right, folks, let's hear from the guys here. It's third down. Third and goal at the one. Here for St. Mary's. And it's... Okay. And this time they got it. Touchdown, six. That St. Mary's strikes with a touchdown and take the lead six to three. Touchdown, St. Mary's. So the turnover costly there for Curly. And St. Mary's take the lead and trying to go up by four. Remember, all special curly do get the ball back first in the second half. So 
be crucial for them here, in my opinion, to get a, a score. Kick is up, right down Broadway. The extra point is good with 5.54 remaining in the second quarter. St. Mary 7, Archbishop Curl 3. We'll be right back in our case. All right, back to game action here. St. Mary's kicks it off. Right at the 10. 20. Split. 30. And they got him down inside the 30, right there to 33. Decent return there, Michael. Aaron Rose on the return. First and 10 fries. That's Curly's game plan. Keep the ball on the ground running wise. Still serves well. Five forty six left in the first half. Run for Madison. He will gain, gain about five there. Pretty good game. Karan Madison, pick up a four. Second and six. Madison runs. He might not get back to the line. Madison, no game. Third and six. Nordic surprise for Bishop, incomplete, fourth down. All members of Curl's Athletic Hall of Fame and this year's inductees into the Hall of Fame are asked to report to the track at this time. It's going to be grounded right near the 35 yard line. All right, folks, coming up next week here on the game of the week here on DXN, a big one. Non conference wise, we're down in Anne Arundel County in Arundel to see them take on St. Francis. St. Mary's will take over on their own 40. St. Francis' first game first ten. since mid October. We've had a couple cancellations. We'll get them next week against one of. The MPSSA better teams in Arundel. And they beat Chesapeake last night. And we're expecting that one to be a good one next week here on the DMV High School Football Game of the Week. Okay, spins out a couple tackles. A gain about maybe five. Second. And five. St. Mary's. Brian Collins on the stop. You saw Brian Collins, yeah. Second and four. Seven and to three, your score. Again, we expected this one to be as good as advertised. Between these two B conference teams, one against two. Low snap. Fakes it. Bomb deep. Adjusts and complete. Third and five. Pass it complete. They went for the home run. Third and four. 
I, I won't say home. They went for the two bagger. Didn't quite get it. All right, folks, let's get loud. It's third down. Run. Won't get the first down. Maybe game two. Fourth down. What's St. Mary do here? They're gonna bring the front unit on this line. Fourth and two. And the Friars hold. It's fourth down. Aaron Rhodes, back to receive for the Friars. Come on now. Now the Saints have all three of their timeouts. The Friars have two remaining. Straight kick. Hey, that's a nice punt. That might go in the back of the end zone. Well, I had a 20. Smart to let that one go. Nice punt. Touchback. Touchback. First and 10 fries. Folks, just a reminder that the campus store will close in 10 minutes. The campus store will close in 10 minutes, so get up there, get your hoodie, get your curly t-shirt, get your beanie. The campus store will close in 10 minutes. All right, first and 10 here for Curly at the 20. 2.36 remaining, and they have two timeouts remaining. Run, Madison. Uh, maybe a get two. Come on, Madison. Pick up a three. Three yard gain. I know, uh, Second and seven. Two and a half. St. Mary's, I think, will call time. They will. They used one of their three timeouts, so both teams have two. 30 14 Friars. Timeout on the field. Just a reminder all members of Curly's right Athletic Hall of Fame in this year's inductee. All right, third down and 12. Rolls out, short pass. Almost picked off. St. Mary's got what they want it. And fourth down. And the punt unit. Nordic's pass intended for Bichel is incomplete. It's fourth down. Fourth down here, the Saints. Run off the side of the foot. It takes the St. Mary's bounce near the 40. Saints got the stop, got the clock to stop. They still have two timeouts. And they get the ball to stay inside of Curly territory as well. First and ten, St. Mary's. Back on. Okay, runs it up the middle. Curry breaks loose, and he's gone for a touchdown for the Saints. Touchdown, St. Mary's. Wow. Touchdown, St. Mary's.
That's really the last thing you wanted to use. Surely a variety of ways. Extra points. Right down Broadway. No, no good. It was low, it didn't go in. And the point after attempt is no good. Well, like it With 127 remaining in the second quarter. It's a 10 point lead now, 13 St. Mary's 13, Curly 3. Inside of Curly Territory again, the last time they had it. Here inside of Curly Territory, Curry ran it for a touchdown. Yeah. This time yeah. Curry got wiped out and he loses a yard. Stevie Carter will stop. So Curly has one timeout remaining, St. Mary's has two. And Second and 12. And a half. about seven. It's fourth down territory for St. Mary's. Pick up a three. Third and nine. Third nine here. All right, folks, here we go. It's third down. Rolls out, caught, first down. St. Mary's take their Passes second time out. First down, St. Mary's. Run. No, St. Mary's did not take a timeout. They will regardless, I think, after this play. Went with the run, Curry cuts, timeout now, with 12 seconds left in the half. Aaron Rose will stop, teams with one second down. Timeout, St. Mary's. Right, take time. We take one, two, we're right back with the finish. Seconds here, last second and a half. Third down. So we might get two more shots to the end zone. Excuse me, second down. 
Oh, it's third no. down. Excuse me, third down. It's third down. Third and seven. Shooting to the end zone. No good. Flagley. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on. And a pass and a burn. Don't even Flag catch it. Get out of here. Ain't no way you would have caught that. Don't even catch it, man. Oh. You watch too much TV, Rev. Let's see where they are. Too much TV! Field goal unit coming out, really not enough time. To really set out for a quick offensive play. You have to literally throw it to the end zone. So, St. Mary's will go for three instead. They have scored 13 on answer. First and goal, St. Mary's. First and goal. Timeout by Curley. They take their final timeout. Timeout, Friars. Curley, no more timeouts remaining. St. Mary's with one. We'll be right back with the finish. All right, folks. Four seconds left. Bill Gold. Kick is up. Good. It went through. That's the half. The 16, kick is up, and it's good. The three is and the score. St. Mary's leads the Friars 16 to 3. Saints up 16 to 3 in this big matchup for the B Conference top spot. <laughs> and MIA B Conference. We're back with the second half. Coming up here from St. Clair Lane. Second half about to get underway here. Archbishop Kelly. Short kick. Hey, let it go out of bounds. Smart. Very smart. Go right out of bounds. Flag on the play. First and 10 at the 35 for Office of Curling, and they're down by 13. St. Mary's kickoff is out of bounds. The Friars will take over for their own 35. First and 10. Wins. They will have to tie break over all the teams. It's close to them in front. Another short pitch. Madison cuts. Nice gain there, he gained seven. Madison, pick up a seven. Second and three. Excuse me, pick up a six. Second and six four. Second and four. And close bunch formation. Gets to the outside again. That's a gain of two more. It'll be third and two. 
Madison for two, third and two. Seems a straight up run or what they do the same formation they've been doing. Too much risk. Defense! Go get him, defense! Too much time! Go for it! 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 Go for I don't mind the formation, but yeah, I would have gave it straight to the fullback. Like yeah, I mean, come on. So you did it twice They're already. Yeah. Madison, pick up of one. Same formation. Fourth and short. And why bring a guy in motion? Why bring him in motion? Just going to stand in the ball. Fourth and one, Friars going for it. Down by third. Put him in a straight up eye formation. Come on. I agree. It's not happening. Same formation again. Run up the middle, should have got the first down, it did. Nordrick ran in himself, and it should be continuing the drive for the prior. How about a signal, Black? Drive continues for Bishop Kelly. Nordic with the keeper, first down. Nice waggle. Three plays in a row. Little run up the middle there. Give about maybe three. Cole Floyd on the carry, pick up of three, second and seven. Uh, see, it wasn't bad when he was up, or close. Right. But still, you know, you run four runner plays in a row, give me a little wagon. Uh, I would change formation to be able to do it. How about a little bootleg, roll out to the other side. Fits to the outside. Same old stuff. Nice game, the power boom, and might have got the first time because of it. It's going to be short about a yard, third and Madison, and a half. up the middle for six, third and short. Curly's really trying to slow the tempo of the game. Down by 13. Flag. That's going to be against the offense, it looks like. Unless oh, no. it's an offside. It is an offside. Flag on the field. Offside, St. Mary's. First down, Flyers. Come on, nice smart here. Nice smart. Good drive. Flag again. Second time. So the bunch formation is making St. Mary's offsides because they're coming up close to it and they're crossing the line of scrimmage when they do. Flag on the field. Offside St. Mary's. First and five Friars. Play action, Bob. Play action. Action flag. Okay. It's going to be a first down. Gain of six. Madison for five. First down. Oh, 
up the middle. Madison for seven, second and three. Again, they might have gotten St. Mary's again to go off sides for the third time in this drive. Fly down. And they have. That's the good news for Curly. Offside St. Mary's. We'll be down. First down, Friars. Right about halfway done here in the third. Loss of one, second and eleven. Still in that bunch formation. Hits again to the outside. This time Madison, nowhere to go. Madison, pick up of one, third and ten. Now, now, since last week, we know they was in front. I mean, how many times are you going to try Have you seen this all year from them? Pretty much. In this formation? I mean, no, not, one. no. Actually, no, not in this bunch. Not in this bunch. And I guess it, you know, these guys probably haven't seen them in either. They have, they have. Uh, all sides three times, I mean. Okay. <laughs> he must have hurt you. They should have thrown out of the bunch. Run. Oh, down. He's there. Fourth down. They say it's a great try, but the only problem is if you don't get anything out of it, ran out of the quarter. Kind of made more urgency on yourself. Very true. Very true. I agree with you. I believe two ones out of five sisters. I mean, throw out of the one. You know, Are they going for a field honest. goal? Just keep honest, you know? Why not? I'm going for a field goal here. Somebody in a 10 point game if he hits it. the ball back before 19 left more than half the quarter <laughs> wasted nothing to show for it for official go Friars did not convert on the kick turn everyone down yeah, that, that, that's a killer I would have went for it he's usually a weapon I mean no offense to a field goal you need to, you, you need to get in so you get down by a percent kick the field goal you still down two percent it ain't like they've been stopping them either not in these last couple drives. And like I said, you ran a lot of clock on. You almost helped them out a little bit. They're on you. It's almost curtains mode. They're on you. All right, St. Mary's gets it back. They're going to use the run game. Curry. 
Oh boy, he broke a tackle. And if he didn't get tripped up, he would have got more yards, but he got a first down anyway. First down, St. Mary's. Yeah, I don't play call, man. Don't play call. Yeah. They could have been way more imaginative right there. They get seven right there and cut it to six. That's what I'm saying. The game, the game starts around. Throw out of that bunch. You run, you know, six plays in a row out of the bunch. Throw a waggle or something. You know? Get a tight end on the flag route. First and ten, 350 left in the third. That bond rolls out. He made something out of nothing there, might have game three. Wow. Hey, that's a game more than three. He gained about maybe seven. Second and four. Second and four coming up. Second and four. Delay. Outside run. And they met him. Nichols and Travers combined on the stop. Third down. Third and three. All right, folks, here for the defense. It's good down. Third and three. Short pass or a run, no doubt, here for St. Mary's. Rollout. Open man, first down for Crockett. And he got pushed near the 35 of the Friars. St. Mary's back in business again. Ryan Collins on the stop. First down, St. Mary's. Twenty left in the third. Low snap. Fakes it. That ball runs it. And they got him there. A gain of maybe three. One fifty-eight left in the third. Jamal Brown with the tackle. Second and eight. Pistol formation, Cotton. The run to the outside. Am I laying the lumber? Aaron Rose will stop. Third and five. Third and five here. This is definitely fourth down territory here for St. Barry. 114 left. Fakes it. Robert Bond runs it. He's close to the marker. Fourth and one. And Travis and Yates on the stop. St. Mary's gonna go for it. Fourth and one. All right, folks, let's here for the defense. It's four down. St. Mary's going for it. 30 seconds left here in the third. Both teams with all three of their timeouts remaining. Movement! 
Yeah. It might be against St. Larry. It is. It's a false start. Went from fourth and one to fourth and six. False start, St. Mary's. It's fourth and six. Early three. Homecoming here on the game of the week. Both fourth quarter underway here. Run splits out of that. There's a quarterback keeper. Nordrick. We gain about maybe two. Nordic keeps for two. Second and eight. Second and eight could come here. 1140 remaining here in this one. A 13 point advantage here. Curly has to get. A touchdown, I have say here on this drive. Low snap there, Madison uses center of gravity. The game about maybe three more, it'll be third. Look like five coming up. We gotta play it down. And that look like that is Madison, the running back. Madison's holding his leg, unfortunately. Don't they have a short passing game? I mean, come on. Seen a little bit of it last week with the tight end. Yeah, he did. He played a hell of a game against Grand Canyon. I mean, he played just possible. Official time out on the field. Because he got lucky there to get the stop. I mean, I think the defense has played. Yeah, yeah. Good enough. We'd like to thank our homecoming 2022 grand sponsor, Fulton Bank. Thank you, Brooks Grasso, class of 1989, for your support as this year's grand sponsor. Buy it, pull it, refinance it, Fulton Bank. Contact Brooks Grasso at 410-427-3525. The strategy has been well, but again, if you can't get points, it's all about, yeah. So, I'm glad that Madison was able to East walk off and still had to go on the clock. Play action. Caught. That's, what That's I'm a first down. Cox to tight end. What a big play. That's what I mean. Michael Cox in the reception. No huddle now by the Friars. Low snap again. This time to run from Floyd Jr. Holds the pile, gets the first down. Play for 12. Touchdown. I would keep that, hey, I would keep that no huddle going though. Yeah, me too. Keep that no huddle going. Keeping them on their heels. And it's counter, counter three to the left. Sugar Huddle in, like I said, Curly has to get a touchdown here on his drive. Didn't need that. Oh, oh. Curly might have got saved on the flag right there. Let's see. I think Curly. 
Lie down with the play. So rough in the passer, saved off Mr. Curley here on the drive. And that was surely a momentum killer, that pick. First and 10 the Flyers. Now huge is that. Tight end flag Right on the back corner. Fakes it. Nordrick, he's going to scramble around the corner. A gain of one. And definitely not a late hit. <laughs> I don't want the Ravens. Nordic picks up one on the keeper. Out of bounds. Second and nine. I know we blame coaches sometimes. But, but you gotta ask the kids. Right? <laughs> See what we got here. Slide guy to the flag. Come on. Oh, no, Bruce! Hey, he jumps on it! A flag late! Oh, my goodness! Nordrick is down. Flag down on the flag. The flag was after the fumble. Let's see what the flag is about. Well, it's nothing worse than a turnover. Your quarterback gets hurt off the turnover, and then you get a penalty to move the turnover down inside of your territory if you're off this appeal. First and 10, St. Mary's. Uh, darn it. Can't aid good teams. I was hoping they keep it close. Well, you can't aid good teams. First and ten inside of breaks. Nice tackle from behind to get Curry down. And it may be gang two. Khalil Travers on the stop. Second and nine. Second and nine. Nine, ten remaining here in regulation time. Low snap, throws it short, caught. Nice gainer there, look like that gain about six. Third down, and about Malachi Nichols on the tackle. Four. Third and four. Less than nine minutes remaining in regulation time. Big third and three. Fakes it. Back oh. ball with Rome. He's got the first down. And he went down smartly to get it. Smart Down in distance. The defense got one huge stop. Elijah Anderson on the stop. First and ten, St. Mary's. Be coming in here from Curly. Jaden Pittman's warming up down there. Next time Curly's up on offense. First and ten. Cotton! That was Curry, I believe. He flew a little bit. And he gained about five. Aaron Rose on the stop. Second and four. Eight minutes remaining here in the fourth. 
second and four. High snap. Curry runs up the middle. He might have gained the first down, and he did. First and ten, St. Mary's. Multiple Friars on the stop. First and goal, St. Mary's. Marcus Morris on the tackle. Nice tackle. Second and goal. Second and goal here. Roll out. Pat Vaughn is sacked. We're going to be third and goal. Look like near the 14 yard line. Brian Collins on the sack. Lost the five. Third and goal. is no good, 5.30 remaining. The extra point is the no Saints, good. 5.30 away from having all the tiebreakers for the top spot in the B Conference in MIA. And we'll be right back in our kicks. Short kick. What a hit. Nail near the 30. That's not what you want to see at all. Getting up on his own power, looks like. That's a good news, and that is good news. Zayshon Wood brings it out to the 26. First and 10 Friars. Back up quarterback Pittman in the game. Nordrick's day. Done, so you have a backup running back, a backup quarterback, you're down 22 to 3. Curly with 
offensively was dominant last week at CCBC Dundalk. The Saints, that's a nice run there. Cole Floyd Jr. with the run. Oh, not bad. Cole Floyd for 10. 10 yard gain of first First to 10 flyers. 5 16 remaining. In regulation time here. Out of bounds, Flagley. That might be against St. Mary's. Lay it out of bounds. Flag down on the play. Side of St. Mary's territory. First down, Friars. Friars at least trying to get in the end zone. They go to Riverdale Baptist next week. They're in their season here at home against John Carroll. The Saints still has a trip to uh, St. Paul's. Fakes it. Throws it. Too far. Incomplete there. And then they see the rival Severn, which in all I know will win the C Conference. Be a battle of BC Conference champion. Well, this evening in that last week, in that rivalry game. The run nailed in the backfield. Third and long. Loss of five on the play. Third and fifteen. comes out. It's fourth down. Yeah, but Curly homecoming, things not going <laughs> at the native want here yeah. on the East uh, St. Clair Lane. Took it though. Time out, Friars. Curly took it. We'll take one, two, right back. 321 remaining. All right, folks, back to game action here. Ooh, short punt. Picked it up at the 25. Flag is down. Let's see what the flag is about. Trevin Nelson on the tackle. It's against St. Mary's. First and St. Mary's. It's going to be playing keep away. Pretty much in this one. Next week here on DSN, down in Anne Arundel County, you get to see Arundel for the first time in our place since we got them against uh, Dundalk last year in the MPSSA 43A semifinal. Right now, in my opinion, they're the favorite. Right now, 4A3A at the moment. We'll get to see them in a non conference tilt against St. Francis. St. Francis haven't played since October the 8th in Hawaii. We'll get to see them 
first of two times coming up in the next month's time we get to see the Panthers in the big showdown against IMG. We'll have that one for you next week here on the Game of the Week. We might, it depends on the day, we might be coming at you as well. From CCBC Dundalk to do John Carroll against uh, Curly Still pushing his way. Yeah, he made some out of nothing there. Multiple Friars on the stop. Second and one. St. Francis Fall League, if they have an abosa. They might have at you from the uh, 695 Fall League. They have found a couple weeks. Good we'll be somewhere next week. With a football basketball tilt here on the uh, set. Low snap. Run up the middle. That's the first. That's the first down. Putting the finishing touches on this one is St. Mary's. Cam Hansen on the tackle. St. Mary's will at least have a share of the Lee Conference title with this win today as they've already beaten Concordia Prep last week. They beat Mount Carmel two weeks before that. So they had a three game stretch of the teams behind them in the conference and able to win all three, two of them on the road. The idea was right by all this to play keep away. They weren't able to take advantage of it outside of the field goal. Run up the middle. That's a gain of about four there. We're gonna run this clock down. Archbishop Curley. Cam Hampton on the stop. The conference gets Riverdale Baptist down in uh Second and five. County next week, and then they're in their season here at home against John Carroll. John Carroll could be fighting for that fourth spot. In them and Mount Kilmore right now. Boys Latin and St. Paul's. Mount Kilmore at Boys Latin today. Let's see. Let's get a quick update what happened in that one. Run in the middle. Not much of doing. Boys Latin shut out Mount Camel today. 27 to nothing. So now that matchup gets John Stevie Carter on the stop. Mount Camel's bigger now next week. Other finals. I quit Loyal Blakefield defeating Gilman 27 to 16. Franklin defeating Towson 27 to 7. DeMatha with a big one at St. John's 17 to 14. Good one there. Murray Hall defeating Parkville 33 to 6. We're just going to nail it down. We call it afternoon here. And that's going to do it. St. Mary's wins it. 22 to 3. They win a share on the big conference title. With one conference game remaining, they have all the tiebreakers over the team they need to be able to win the big Andrew conference. Final. St. Mary's 22. This will drop Curly the third. This will call you Pratt Week Curly a couple weeks ago. And one this more conference. This matchup match for to today. We'll Thank you for attending. Here at home coming out be safe driving home. Thank you. Nice homecoming as always. Thank you for coming out here, Bishop Curly. We, we say so long to you here from East Baltimore. From East Baltimore down to the heart of Anne Arundel County at Arundel. We'll get to see one of the better MPSSA teams next week go up against the second nationally ranked team in the country, St. Francis, that we see in Arundel County. So long for now. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?